Howdy. Just doing an update. Halloween update indeed. Gonna make it short and sweet. Um, show off a little bit of the new environment here and move on to my new big surprise. Um, which would be something that happens towards the end of the level. Um, I've got some new art assets but mostly just new ways of using the old ones. Um, came up with a nice automatic way to generate all these little flowers and <clears throat> some of this other environmental stuff. Um, just been fleshing things out in that respect. Uh, these are some test panels for some ugly school tiling that I was working on. I'm um, just running around here, going to get all the spawners down to get to the final part of the level. I really dropped the difficulty a fair amount, um, but it scales better now. And there's a cap on the enemies, just a lot of sort of player requested things went in. Made it a lot more interesting for your average person to hop on and play for a while. And so I'm just going to shut up here and get this done. I did make this new type of spawner here that r respawns different than the other ones. It doesn't level up uh, over time like the other ones either. It levels up once you take it out and when it comes back it's bigger. And they respawn pretty quick. It really makes you stay in one area and sort of clean it thoroughly. I do like that mechanic so far. But on the other hand, it's really difficult for players to tell them apart and understand why they're still coming back so much. So I'll need to make sure that all these mechanics are introduced to the player one by one. Give them a uh, nice gentle ride as we ramp up all the features. Just go run home and regen real quick. <coughs> I did finish all the uh, collision masks for this level, so now I'm moving around through and between walls uh, that were originally just all open, and the, <coughs> oh, damn, I took a lot of heat there. The water and stuff is all blocks you from moving again, and the bots and the enemies too, but it certainly added, uh, quite a bit of problems for my bad AI, my terrible mapping and pathing. So I was trying to work on that, uh, implement some MP movement path grids instead of these basic instructions that I've got right now just for uh, having them come towards you and somewhat move around walls, but not really. So I got spawners down to just one spawner. might actually still be where it was just at. I have to kill them four times and then they finally go away permanently. I'm going to keep upgrading my... Oh, these are my little mini bots that you see following me around. I added that recently. Yep. And they sort of are like, if you've ever seen Gundam, they're like little funnels. They run around, swarm around you and do damage to enemies for you automatically. It's great. They're super cute, of course. Okay, so here's the boss. This is what I was waiting to show off. He basically... It's not too hard if you're high level like I am. In fact, maybe I need to increase the, sc the scaling a little bit. The main thing is he gets to you, does some big hits, speeds up sort of just a big obstacle for you to overcome at the end, but I just kicked his butt, so it's kind of anticlimactic. <laughs> Anyways, alright, hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.